Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, On One Software released an update to On One Photo Raw. It's now version 2023.1. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of On One Photo Raw. This is a rather significant update. There are several new and improved features in this version of On One Photo Raw. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what I consider to be the three most significant new and or improved features in this release. Now they of course added support for new cameras and new lenses. I'll have all of that listed in the description below this video. Let's get started with one of the new improved features. It has to do with the healing brush. They've added the ability for you to copy and move as well as transform with the healing brush. Let me demonstrate. Let's pick this image here. I'm going to go over to the edit panel. And to get to the healing brush, you also, you have to go to the retouch tools. It's the far left tool, the healing brush. And if I go over to the right, you can see there's mode and they always had heal and stamp. Now they have copy and move. Let's go to copy first. Now to copy this, all I need to do is get a brush, get a relatively big brush, and we'll just paint over this bird and copy it. Once I paint over it, let go with the left mouse button, you could see that it copied it and moved it over here. And you, of course, could drag it to wherever you want to make it look like it's a realistic copy. Now, I mentioned they've added the ability for you to transform the adjustment as well. To do that, hold in the Alt or Option key. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. And when you do that, you'll get this bounding box around your copied selection. You have the ability to flip it horizontally. Just click right there. Click again to flip it back. You could flip it vertically. Of course, if you want an upside, dirt, upside down bird, you could do that. You just reset your adjustment. Or you could resize it. You grab any handle. Now, if you just grab a handle and start resizing, you could distort it. It won't hold proportion. Let me undo that by hitting Command-Z on my Mac. If I want to keep proportion, not only hold in the Option key or Alt key in, hold in the Shift key with it, and then you could resize it and keep the proportions, and you can move it to wherever you need to go. So that's the new Copy feature in the Healing Brush tool. Now I'm going to delete that. We're going to start over. What about this other new mode, Move? So we'll go to Move. I made a mistake there. Let's delete that. We'll go up to Copy. Let's go to Move. There we go. Now again, just like before, we'll paint over the object we want to move, in this case, the bird, and then just let go. And you can see it moved it. And then you could drag it wherever you want. And, you, and the same thing applies. Uh, you could then resize it by holding in the uh, Alter Option key, grab a handle, you could flip it, whatever you need to do, hold the Shift key in to keep things relatively symmetrical. And you could move it around and resize it that way. So that is everything that's new about the healing brush. I'm going to click delete and just start like with our original image. Now, another new feature is they've added overlays to the crop tool. Let's jump over to the crop tool and hopefully you could see it. Maybe I should pick a different image so you could better see the actual overlay itself. Let's go back over to browse. Let's uh, pick this image, vertical image. Probably should have thought of this ahead of time. So we have this image now and we'll go to the crop tool and maybe you can see it a little better. We have the overlay and you can see it's the typical rule of thirds. Now if you go up to this drop down here you can see that there are other options. You have a grid option, you have a diagonal option, you have triangles, you have golden ratio, and you have golden spiral or you have none. Now, a quicker way to cycle through these overlays is hit the O key on your computer. So if you hit the O key, you'll see we're back to the rule of thirds. We're to the grid. Hit the O key again. We have this diagonal overlay. Here we have triangles. Hit the O key again. We have the golden ratio. Hit the O key again. And we have the golden spiral. Now, if you have something like the golden spiral, you may not want it in the lower right-hand corner. To flip it around, go back up to this drop down, and you could see that we could flip it horizontal and or flip it vertical. So you could flip it to any corner you really need it to be. You'll be able to do that. 
just by choosing it there. So that's new. These overlays are new. Typically they only had, or they used to only have the rule of thirds. So let's cancel out of that. Let's talk about this final new feature, which is probably the most significant uh, new feature, at least in my opinion. They've improved the sky replacement feature. So I have this image of the Guggenheim Museum. Let's go over to sky and let's choose a OcuDrone sky. You guys hear me all the time. Hear me talk about OcuDrone skies all the time. They really are the best skies on the market. And I'll have links to them in the description below this video. Uh, they really are the best skies on the market. So again, that will all be linked in the description below this video. I have a discount code for them as well. If you're interested in purchasing their skies, you could save some money. All right, you can see I chose a sky, but you could see what happened here. See how it is over the top of this part of the museum? Let me uh, undo it for a second. There's before and there's after. Well, the new feature is they have a new method. They've called the original method Model A. That's what we have now. And all we need to do is go to Model B when this happens. And you'll see that it takes a second, but it cleans it up beautifully. Look at that. So that's really a significant new feature for the sky replacement because um, every now and then it would do it and would it often do it with architecture, building specifically. I had some images of Philadelphia I took and uh, often the, um, the sky was just going over the front of the buildings instead of behind the buildings. But you could see here that it takes care of it. And again, I'll just undo that by going back to the original model, Model A, and you can see how the sky is in front of the building. And we'll pop back over to Model B. And takes a second, but bam, really clings up the mask well, and it looks beautiful. So that's it. So it's the three, uh, at least three of the more significant features in this uh, version of On One Photo Raw. That's 2023.1. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have all the new lenses. I think it's actually a number of new lenses and one new camera, but I may be wrong on that. But I'll have it all listed in the description below this video and I'll have links to OcuDrone so you can check out their skies and I'll have that discount code listed as well. I also have a discount code for On One Photo Raw so if you don't own it and you want to buy it take advantage of my discount code. Thank you everyone who watches my videos I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.